The AZ500 exam is Microsoft's marquee security exam. This is the one you need for the Azure Security Engineer Associate Certification, and it's a big one. And I'm here today to help you crush it on AZ500. I'm going to give you five tips that will help you get there faster, easier, and cheap, or even free, <laughs> which incidentally is my favorite price. I have some surprises for you both in terms of techniques and in terms of free resources. So let's get started. So number one, you need a current accurate exam study guide. So you're focusing your attention in the right areas. So it all starts with the AZ500 exam homepage. If you just go Google AZ500 exam skills tested, you will wind up on this page on the Microsoft website. And if I scroll down just a bit below the scheduling resource here, I will find skills measured and a link that takes me to an exam skills outline. This shows me the exam domains and the skills, the topics that will be tested. Now you'll notice there's no additional learning here. There's no reading. There's no, no video or lab assistance here. This just tells you the areas you're going to be focusing on. This also mentions that the exam was updated on July 29th. Now enter a proper exam prep guide. I've got you covered here. With my AZ500 exam prep guide, which was updated on July 29th for the new exam, I cover those skills tested, those domains, and those skills line for line. I give you additional reading. I give you access to some videos from Microsoft. I point to some quick starts, some tutorials that will give you hands-on to some of these technologies. So you can download my AZ500 exam prep guide, if you don't have it already, for free at this URL, which I will put in the comments section of this video. Number two, you need to assess your weak spots. You need to understand where you need to focus your time. And a great way to do this is through self-assessment, using some practice questions to understand which topics represent your weak areas. So you can focus 70 or 80% of your time on the 20 or 30% of the content that you're least familiar with. Stick with me to the end of the video and I'm going to give you access to a free resource that will allow you to knock this one out for free. Number three, you need access to some good and hopefully cheap online training to maximize your preparation velocity. And you might say, well, you know, even if I have access to training, I don't have an Azure subscription. I've got you covered here. I've got a nice surprise for you. If you think that you need an Azure subscription, you'd be wrong about that. We're going to talk about the Azure Sandbox, which is going to be your friend in terms of preparation. So when I look at the AZ500 exam homepage and I scroll below those skills measured, you'll notice there are two ways to prepare. There is instructor-led training and there is online free training. Multiple learning paths on security topics helping you to prepare for AZ500. There are hands-on lab exercises in here. So for example, here's an Azure Key Vault exercise. And if I look over here to the right-hand side of the screen, it mentions that this module requires a sandbox to complete. So that Azure Sandbox gives you access to Azure resources. And you're going to have a couple of questions here, so I'm going to take you right to the FAQ. And again, all of these URLs will be in the comments section of this video, so you can find all of these quickly and easily by just scrolling down to comments. So in the FAQ section of Microsoft Learn, if I look at Sandbox, it will explain to you what the Azure Sandbox is. It's a free environment you can use to explore Azure through Microsoft Learn content. Do you need an Azure account? No. Do you need an Azure subscription? No. Can I use a sandbox even if I have an Azure subscription? Absolutely yes, but Microsoft does require that you use it specifically for Microsoft Learn content. So do not abuse this fantastic resource or it can be taken away. And while we're on the topic of free and inexpensive online learning resources, 
I want to tell you about my AZ500 series on LinkedIn Learning. So there's actually a landing page on the LinkedIn Learning website to show you how to become an Azure security engineer. I've got a little more than five hours of training here, targeted videos, hitting all of those line items in three to five minute chunks. So very easy to consume in small quantities, wherever you may be. Now I've updated this content for the July 29th updates. It may be a few weeks before it's actually published, but there's still a lot of very relevant information for you over here in my AZ500 series. And another surprise for you, in my exam prep guide, I give you free limited time access to these courses. You can click each of these five links in my exam prep guide. And when you click that link, you'll have free access to that course for a period of 24 hours. So make sure you only click these links when you're ready to consume that content. And you can also sign up for 30 days of free access to LinkedIn Premium, which will give you extended access to those courses. Number four, this one is so, so important and so often ignored, so stick with me. Make sure that you're focusing not only on the topics Microsoft is going to test you on on AZ500, but you're focused on the security context. This is not an architecture exam. This is not an administration exam. Microsoft is testing you on Azure services and concepts in the context of security. So like you, I want to know everything there is to know about Azure. I want to go study every aspect of Azure SQL and app service and, and understand the architecture and the admin and the operations. But at the end of the day, I need to narrow my focus a bit. So for example, let's take Azure Key Vault. It's great to understand high availability around Azure Key Vault. It's great to understand how to integrate Azure Key Vault with my release pipelines in Azure DevOps. But for a security exam, I'm gonna focus a little more narrowly. For example, security at the management plane, securing my Azure uh, Key Vault instance happens through role-based access control. Security at the data plane, securing the contents of my Key Vault happens with access policies. And I'm going to want to know how to protect those secrets and potentially recover those secrets. So I wanna to touch on the PowerShell commands that I can use to back up and restore those. I wanna look at purge protection and soft delete in Key Vault for keeping those secrets around should they be accidentally deleted. Number five, if you're not familiar, hands-on is so important. So that hands-on experience with a concept like Azure Key Vault, if you've never worked with it before, is so important. And there was actually a study released by, I believe it was the University of Chicago, where they measured students' recall at exam time when they had performed physical tasks and when they had not. And they found that there was a significant difference and improvement in recall at exam time when students had performed physical tasks. If we go back to that previous tip, the Azure Sandbox, that free online training, there's nothing standing between you and hands-on experience to get that excellent recall for the exam. Okay, we're at number five. I told you if you stuck with me, I'd have a little bonus for you. And here we go. And if you're getting some value here today, make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell so we can notify you when the next video's up. So I'm going to give you 14 days of free access to a bank of 150 free practice questions around AZ500. Are these intended to simulate the exam with a high degree of accuracy? Absolutely not. Microsoft has a very robust testing engine and most of the engines we can work with in the open source community are much less capable. What these questions will do is test your knowledge of the nuances of the concepts on this exam. It's going to help you spot your weak spots and help you focus your attention to the right areas. Okay, and now you have the tools, you have the techniques, it's time to get started. I'll see you at the finish line. Good luck.